What is up, YouTube? Oh, wait, what? All right, now I feel a little bit better. All right, so this is gonna be just another quick update. We are still really busy at work, so I haven't done a whole lot down here. We're supposed to be pretty busy for at least the next couple of weeks, so the updates might be a little slow still. But I do have all of the Batrium stuff installed, finally. However, I may have already let the magic smoke out. I'm gonna blame it on the cat. You see what I mean? Totally him. Can you hear that? That was my girl cat running across the floor. Beyonce. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> so I got it all hooked up and <laughs> um, and so I hooked everything up over there in the server rack. I had all the right flashy lights, you know, the reds and greens and all that kind of stuff. And then I come over here to the computer, install the software real quick, and then turn it on and I can't, I can't get it to sync, you know, and I'm like, so I'm looking through all the videos, Peter's videos, DIY tech and repairs videos, and I'm like, well, I did the same stuff that they did. What is the problem? So I start looking over here, you know, and I only notice one red light on the Longmon wires, and I, I could never get it to sync. So I'm like, all right, what's the problem here? The only thing I can think of, I must have had like a loose connection on the Watchmon right here because... <sighs> I don't, I don't, I don't know any other reason, but there's, there's a little tiny, tiny resistor right here that has a little tiny burn hole in it, and that makes it not sync. So I let the magic smoke out out of the most expensive part. So yeah, of course I already talked to Jaren. He's like, you blew out the input, and I'm like, what does that even mean? So I'm a little confused at why I blew out the resistor. I'll zoom in on this and I'll show you which one I blew out. I'm gonna probably attempt to try to fix it if I can find another little tiny resistor on maybe like a little BMS board or something. They're super tiny. It's like, okay, it's small. It's smaller than a piece of rice. I know that for sure. It's tiny. So I'll zoom into this real quick and then yeah. Boom! All right, so R62, whatever resistor that is, I had to ask DIY Tech and Repair uh, what his showed, and he says it, it looks to be just like that R58 or 56, whatever it is, that 221 with a line underneath it. I, If I can find another one of those little guys, I'm going to attempt to replace it. It almost looks like there's a little bit of discoloration on that R58 right next to it, so maybe I'll replace that one as well, unless Jaren doesn't want me too and he wants me to send this back for his own evaluation i'm fine with that too so yeah there you go boom all right so other than that since i have to order <laughs> a new watchman um i'm gonna have to do that so it's definitely gonna be a few more weeks before i can use it so I'm gonna hook it all back up as normal, then push it back over to the charge controller and start using it until I get the Watchmon. But I mean, also that gives me a little bit more time to edit the videos that I did for the install. And I guess it gives me a little bit of time to catch up on some other videos that I've been trying to do. One of those would be the, the two UPSs like Neuralnar did. I do wanna do that, so I might try to do that here maybe in the next video or two, if I can get some freaking time to come down here. Other than that, uh, what else do I got? Another thing I got in the mail from Michael, thank you very much, the 18650 Awesomest Battery Charger thingy. Holy crap, man, you believe that? So this thing has been like everywhere so far. Nerdville goes to HB Powerwall, then the Fireman, then One Up The Sleeve Customs. What? What? Where where did you learn how to write? This is kind of like my nephew wrote this. What are you doing? I'm just kidding. I have chicken scratch too. Uh, then we have Paul Kinnett and Mike's DIY Powerwall and soon to be Average Joe. You know, I've never actually written out Average Joe, but maybe a couple of times. I don't have like a Average Joe signature or anything. I'll have to make one up. I've actually had this for a couple of weeks now. I do have to do a quick modification on this already. I just haven't had any time to do literally anything, but I came down here and I was going to hook this up and I just noticed I'll 
I'll show you on the power supply. All right, so the first thing I did was pull off this line filter here because it said 250 volts AC. And I don't know if my 120 would mess this up. So I figured I would just take it off just because I already blew up the batrium. I don't need to blow up anything else. Boom! So I put my own little uh, plug on here and redid the wires. And I had to change the switch from 220 to 110. And all I did was stuck a little screwdriver through the hole and move the switch over. And as soon as I turned it on, this fan, or I'll just plug it in real quick. Cowern tech. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it does not sound good. It's barely moving. Can you hear that thing? So I am going to have to replace this before I pretty much use it. So I'm gonna go see what other kind of fans I got. Box of MISC fans. Probably not one in here that's small enough. Oh, maybe that. Look at that, that is the same size. All right, so I just found this one right here. It's the exact same size and it's got a little grill so my cats won't stick their nose in it. So I'll hook this guy up real quick. Oh, was that just like sticky tape? Interesting. Plug it in and see if it works. Boom! All right, let's plug it in and make sure she works here. All right. Now, if it blows up, you guys will see it. Uh, or tech. There we go. She's working. Oh, that's cool. So there's two different switches on here. This one turns the TP4056 off and gives you the voltage. And once you push it, it turns the TP4056 back on and it'll tell you the voltage with it on as well. That's a really cool feature. Sweet. All right, so that's not a bad place for, for looks wise, but it's kind of a pain to get to. So I'll, I don't know, I might leave it there or I might not. All right, so I guess I will order a new Watchmon here pretty soon and get that going. In the meantime, it'll give me a little bit more time to catch up on some other past videos that I wanna do. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. We went over to the wife's parents' house and had some amazing food and got real fat, dumb, and happy and came home and kinda laid around on the couch. Also, I signed up for a Instagram account is it technically an account? Page, Instagram page, average.joe00. I'm gonna try to post like a picture a day if I can, maybe every other day. At least I did for the first week until we got busy at work and then everything went out the window. But I'm gonna try to at least post like a picture every day or every few days of not necessarily of the power wall stuff, but more or less all the other things that I do as well. And I'll probably also do like little sneak peek type things. If you wanna follow any of that stuff, I'll leave a link down below. So go there if you want to follow me. And then I got another charger right here that you can't really see very well, but that thing is awesome. I'm going to post that up there too. And I'll be doing a video on that as well. But I guess you'll find out on Instagram first what it is. All right, so yeah, that's my update. I will see you around in the next one. Got something in my eyeball. So the and... Oh cat's being crazy. I must have has a little tiny, tiny resist here. Um, and the, um, to the 
Charge controller. Jesus, I can't even talk. Uh, fit in the thingy. Um, um, I'm too short. She's working. Can you see the lights? Maybe. Need like a step ladder to get up here. That's probably not a very good idea. All right, so I'm standing. <laughs> All right, so I'm standing on my stool. All right, I don't know how well this is gonna work out up here. That one did not change color, so it might be already charged. Yep. Yeah. Well, this isn't working out. Let's try a different one. Well, what the hell? These are probably all charged. I did not charge these. I just pulled these out of the damn packs. Can you believe this? These are charged so far. <laughs> Need to find some dead ones. Holy crap, man. Are you serious? Do these ones? Oh, there's one. I don't know. That one works. I found some. I found some dead ones. Well, not dead, but not charged. Um, but, or, and, see, I call it pound me instead of, uh, I can't even think of what the, the pound sign is now. But that's what I call it. I call it pound me, and the wife thinks that's hilarious.